Shemot, Exodus 30. And you shall make an altar to burn incense upon. A shittim wood shall you make it. A cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof. Four square shall it be. And two cubits shall be the height thereof. The horns thereof shall be of the same. And you shall overlay it with pure gold. At the top thereof, and at the sides thereof, round about, and at the horns thereof, and you shall make unto it a crown of gold round about, and two golden rings shall you make to it, under the crown of it, by the two corners thereof. Upon the two sides of it shall you make it, and they shall be for places for the staves to bear it withal. And you shall make at the staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with gold. And you shall put it before the veil, and that is by the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat, that is over the testimony where I will meet with you. And Aharon shall burn thereon sweet incense every morning when he dresses at the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. And when Aharon lights at the lamps at evening, he shall burn incense upon it, a perpetual incense before Yahuwah throughout your generations. Ye shall offer no strange incense thereon, nor burnt sacrifice, nor meat offering. Neither shall ye pour drink offering thereon. And Aharon shall make an atonement upon the horns of it once in a year with the blood of the sin offering of atonements. Once in the year shall he make atonement upon it throughout your generations. It is most holy unto Yahuwah. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, When you take at the sum of the children of Yashara'el after their number, then shall they give every man a ransom for his soul unto Yahuwah, when you number them, that there may be rather that there be no plague among the among them, when you number them. This they shall give, every one that passes among them that are numbered, half a shekel after the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel is twenty geras. A half shekel shall be the offering of Yahuwah. Everyone that passes among them that are numbered from twenty years old and above shall give an offering unto Yahuwah. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel when they give at an offering unto Yahuwah to make an atonement for your souls. And you shall take at the atonement money of the children of Yashadael and shall appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of the assembly, that it may be a memorial unto the children of Yashadael before Yahuwah to make an atonement for your souls. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, You shall also make a laver of brass, and his foot also of brass, to wash withal. And you shall put it between the tabernacle of the assembly and the altar, and you shall put water in it, rather therein. 
For Aharon and his sons shall wash at their hands and at their feet thereat. When they go into the tabernacle of the assembly, they shall wash with water, that they die not. Or when they come near to the altar to minister, to burn offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. So they shall wash their hands and their feet, that they die not. And it shall be a statute forever to them, even to him and to his seed throughout their generations. Moreover, Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Take also unto you principal spices of pure myrrh, five hundred shekels, and of sweet cinnamon, half so much, even two hundred and fifty shekels, and of sweet calamus, two hundred and fifty shekels, and of cassia, five hundred shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, and of oil, olive, a hin. And you shall make it an oil of holy atonement, an ointment compound after the art of the apothecary. It shall be a holy anointing oil. And you shall anoint at the tabernacle of the assembly therewith, and at the ark of the testimony, and at the table, and at all his vessels, and at the menorah, and at his vessels, and at the altar of incense, and at the altar of burnt offering, with at all his vessels, and at the laver, and at his foot. And you shall sanctify them, that they may be most holy. Whatsoever touches them shall be holy. And you shall anoint at Aharon and his sons, and consecrate them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And you shall speak unto the children of Yashadael, saying, This shall be a holy anointing oil unto me throughout your generations. Upon man's flesh shall it not be poured, neither shall ye make any other like it after the composi composition of it. It is holy, and it shall be holy unto you. Whosoever compounds any like it, or whosoever puts any of it upon a stranger, shall even be cut off from his people. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Take unto you sweet spices, stakti and ankcha and galbanum, these sweet spices with pure frankincense. Of each shall there be a like weight, and you shall make it a perfume, a confection after the art of the apothecary, tempered together, pure and holy. And you shall beat some of it very small and put of it before the testimony in the tabernacle of the assembly where I will meet with you. It shall be unto you most holy. And as for the perfume which you shall make, ye shall not make to yourselves according to the composition thereof. It shall be unto you holy for Yahuwah. Whosoever shall make like unto that to smell thereto shall even be cut off from his people.